Christ has entered not into a sanctuary made with hands, a copy of the true one, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. O oh Lord, open thou our lips.
reading from Zechariah. Rejoice greatly, O daughter Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter Jerusalem. Lo, your king comes to you. Triumphant and victorious is he, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. He will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem and the battle bow shall be cut off, and he shall command peace to the nations. His dominions shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. As for you also, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Return to your stronghold. O oh, prisoners of hope, today I declare that I will restore to you double. For I have bent Judah as my bow, I've made Ephraim its arrow. I will arouse your sons, O Zion, against your sons, O Greece, and wield you like a warrior's sword. Then the Lord will appear over them and his arrow go forth like lightning. The Lord God will sound the trumpet and march forth in the whirlwinds of the south. The Lord of hosts will protect them, and they shall devour and tread down the slingers. They shall drink their blood like wine and be full like a bowl, drenched like the corners of the altar. On that day, the Lord their God will save them, for they are the flock of his people. For like the jewels of a crown, they shall shine on his hand. Here ends the reading.
reading from 1 Peter. Now who will harm you if you are eager to do what is good? But even if you do suffer for doing what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear what they fear, and do not be intimidated. But in your hearts, sanctify Christ as Lord. Always be ready to make your defense to anyone who demands from you an accounting for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and reverence. Keep your conscience clear, so that when you are maligned, those who abuse you for your good conduct in Christ may be put to shame. For it's better to suffer for doing good, if suffering should be God's will, than to suffer for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, in order to bring you to God. He was put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which also he went and made a proclamation to the spirits in prison, who in former times did not obey when God waited patiently in the days of Noah during the building of the ark in which a few, that is eight persons, were saved through water and baptism, which this prefigured, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels, authorities, and powers made subject to him. Here ends the reading.
Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, Suffering, 
pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for thy love's sake. Good evening. It's my privilege as Dean to welcome you this evening, whoever you are and wherever you find yourself in the journey of faith. Please know that you are most welcome to participate in all that we do here at St. Paul's Cathedral. Details of many of our activities are listed in the Cathedral Life Leaflet, which you may have picked up in the porch. I encourage you to take a look at it. Um, but please especially note, next Sunday, as we begin the new church year and the season of Advent, we will have our annual Alternative Gifts Expo all morning from 9 o'clock till 1.30. And in the afternoon, this service at this time at 5 o'clock will be our annual Advent procession of lessons and carols, a very special offering. 
On Saturday afternoon, December 1st, we will be hosting the annual Messiah sing-along, and everyone is welcome to come and join in the chorus. Our closing hymn is as listed in your bulletin, hymn 481, please disregard the hymn board. Please stand as you're able. Blessed art thou, Lord Christ, who didst cross every border between divinity and humanity to make thy home with us. Help us to welcome thee in newcomers, migrants, and refugees. We pray for immigrants and families, especially those at our nation's border with Mexico, who continue to live in danger and fear of violence and separation that compassionate and reasonable actions of our leaders will bring dignity and comfort to those who suffer unjustly. We pray for the protection and welfare of all who suffer at the hands of uncharitable acts. Grant us conversion of hearts and minds to bring about harmony and goodwill that we may live in human solidarity and in hope. To the glory of thy name. Amen. Amen. O God, our Heavenly Father, thou hast blessed us and given us dominion over all the earth. Increase our reverence before the mystery of life and give us new insight into thy purposes for the human race and new wisdom and determination in making provision for its future in accordance with your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God <coughs> and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. amen.